Alright, so here's a video I haven't done in a while. Uh, let's see here. Let me see if I can. Oops, not that one. There we go. Um, I get my display, how many minutes I'm running on this. Alright, we have um, a video of presumably two dads with two naked babies. Maybe about a year old. You know, size of a football. Not quite, you know, they're still infants, but not newborns. And they're tossing them around a little bit, grabbing by their feet, standing them up. Now, I got a free thinker named Dave. And Dave was like, what do you think? I'm like, oh, it's cultural. I mean, because some parts of the world, this is exercise for the kid to stimulate their own body and their mind. And I've also seen footage of acrobats, how they teach their kids to do the same. Now, you go over to another friend's um, post, for instance, same video, and oh my god, they're child abuse, we're the police, all this fun stuff. And it's and the person who posted it um, is the new owner of a witchcraft shop. Okay? So, the this video is about the free thinker versus the witches. And I'll tell you how it works. A free thinker will look, analyze things. Like, uh, throughout, one brought up a question, I brought up an answer. I thought, you know, it's cultural. You can tell it's a vintage film, maybe from the 80s, early 90s, and from probably Europe because not many people like to wear Speedos in the winter time. But hey, you know, you never know. But you can also see the surrounding area and you get that kind of presumption going on. So, a free thinker will think through things. Will not see just things face value, but kind of see what else is around in the, in the circumstance. Now, the witch in the witch's shop. All the comments are, are you know, about these people need to be found, these people need to be, you know, taken care of, the kids need to be taken away. Oh my god, the children, the children, the children. You know, what's so big about the witches? You know, I'm out to get them, I'm about to make fun of them. No, I'm about to point out something about them that they themselves point out about themselves. They're always about this thing about negative energy and negative responses and negative focus. So, if you're about anti-negativity and you spawn uh, that kind of result from people who are viewing the same video you know they see one one person might say something negative about it which was the poster actually the person who posted it was saying hey you know this is an atrocity to children oh my god and then the third post down the lady says and the terrible thing is the kids love it well, if a kid's enjoying themselves and not screaming in pain or in agony or injured, then I guess it's not really hurting them, is it? So, here you got people on a feeding frenzy of the irony, the negativity, and a paradigm that is against what? Negativity. So, may their three, seven, or tenfold paradigm work for them because they're obviously fucking themselves up if that's what you believe. But it is an observation. It's something I've seen. Again, it's not something I'm creating. Um, it was funny because I saw one post from a, you know, a free thinker and his attitude was, well, what do you guys think? You know, he's, he's kind of wants feedback. You know, being a free thinker myself, I just said it's got to be cultural. And I, and I also, like I said, I've seen footage before with the acrobats. But then you flip the channel and you see the witches, what they're doing. Ostracizing, criticizing, um, shunning, uh, putting a huge focus on something that really is one, a video that's dated so old that the kids are probably older than they are food for thought two cultural difference they didn't you know i can't say they don't look american but the person who was wearing a russian outfit in the background <laughs> might let me know that they're american 
So you're talking cultural. But yet, here's a group of people who are supposed to live by example of their paradigm, failing, and even promoting hatred and the negativity that they're against. And they're doing it publicly. It's amusing. But anyways, I figure I'd share that with you. Because, you know, it's too easy to pick apart a Christian and just grab a Bible. When you're dealing with a witch or a pagan, it's a little bit tricky because, you know, what do they believe? But when this person owns a witch's shop, oh yeah, too fucking easy. Because their paradigm is, is just as transparent. So all you have to do is, is hold them to it. And they will always fail because why? God forbid, or goddess forbid, or gods forbid, we're human. Anyways, check yourself before you go off and start criticizing other people. I mean, your true emotions and your true essence will come out. That's why I don't have a paradigm or a religion ruling over me or dictating who I am. It's I who dictates my paradigm or my religious beliefs. Food for thought. Anyways, I wish you well. You take care and have a good weekend. Bye for now.